Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Amplet Spray Tray. This board features Amplet's Cruise Camber, which is a mellow traditional camber with rocker in the nose. That's gonna give you the load, pop, snap, and drive of camber, but not be overly demanding. And then you're gonna have that rocker in the nose, which is gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as a more optimal powder float. This board is only available in 147. I rode this board at Steamboat Springs on a sunny bluebird day. There was about five to 10 inches of fresh snow, depending where you went on the mountain, on top of choppy, chundery, crusty shit. And there was some groomers and whatnot. And then I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board is on the softer side, coming in just below a middle of the road flex. You get a lot more play out in the nose than a stiffer section through the inserts, and then the tail isn't as soft as the nose, but it is softer than the midsection. The torsional flex is highly abundant. You can really twist this board. When you get into choppy, chundery terrain, you can see that nose flapping back. It's buckling, and you're feeling everything underfoot. The midsection, while a little more stable, still, you wanna keep your knees bent. Basically, this is a board that's highly lively. You're gonna feel everything with it. The nice thing about that mellow camber is it's really easy to engage. It allows this board to load up and snap off everything, and it doesn't fight you when you're riding fresh pow. It's actually relatively easy to load up and just sort of porpoise along in there, so you never have to worry about it at all. Well, with that rocker in the nose, the shape of this board, you've got the ultimate platform for popping 180 and just doing a pow butter. The tail, you got that miniature swallowtail. It's really soft, you're just up on it. You can really flex it. Basically, this board can butter your heart out. And when you really push into this board in fresh pow, you can actually help it pick up speed and pop you back out. So if you like doing pow butters, this is a really good board for it. So here's the thing about this board. When you do short, tight, quick carves, like setup turns, it's great. When you're doing mellow carves from one side of the trail to the other, it's fine. Because when you really try to rail a hard carve, you end up overpowering this board. You just over flex that tail. There's so much torsional flex that it twists. You learn the limitations. This is not a board for someone that's a heavier rider that really wants to crank a turn, but if you're a lighter weight rider, you're not gonna have a problem with this. It has limitations. You just kind of have to learn where they are. And it's one of those boards that you really do ankle steer more than anything. Who's this board for? The low angle resort powder rider. Someone that's getting into tight trees that aren't the steepest, someone that while the resort does get pow, it once again does not have steep terrain. So the big thing about this board is it's really designed for a lighter weight rider. It truthfully is. If you're a heavier weight rider, you probably want to go to the Aloha vibes from Amplet. But what's nice about this is with that softer flex, when you're in lower angle terrain, you can really pump this board, follow those undulations in the snow, keep your speed through the trees and whatnot. It's just it's highly lively, you gotta keep your knees bent, you're gonna feel everything with it. Comparable board, the LibTech MC Wayfinder, the Rome Service Dog, the K2 Special Effects. Binding recommendations, the Union Strata, the K2 Lean AT, the Rome Vice. This has been my review of the Amplid Spray Tray. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one, are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below, let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.